Hey, it's Lexi, and I'm here to tell you all about degree apprenticeships, okay? Because you guys are in my DMs, you're in my LinkedIn, you're everywhere. I have been a Rolls Royce apprentice for like four years. Any chance you guys have to message me, you are messaging me, and I respect the hustle, okay? I respect it. However, I'm lazy and I can't be asked to consistently repeat myself. So I decided to make a video. Now, I don't have a script, so it might be a little bit messy. Bear with me, but it's definitely coming from the heart. I'm going to cover everything, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And if you want to jump to certain bits, I'll leave time sounds, but like I said, it might be a little messy. <clears throat> first things first there are different types of apprenticeships right so there's one just after you finish your GCSEs there's one after you finish your A levels and this is an apprenticeship but it's a, a graduate scheme which is something that you can do after university if you are struggling to find a job like most people are I will be touching on that towards the end of the video I did a degree apprenticeship so I did this straight after A levels but sometimes to get into degree apprenticeships you don't need to do all A levels you know you can do a mix between BTEC and A levels obviously depending on what you want I did a manufacturing engineering probably should have mentioned that at the beginning but you know here we are if I could go back would I do one straight after my GCSEs yes okay I was never your exam girl I'm thick I'm stupid okay not really I'm actually really smart but like you know sometimes I feel really thick and stupid when I sit in exam because I can't can't do it like genuinely before the exam I'll know everything I'll go in and I'll get zero zero and I'll try really really hard I don't know so if that is you please look into doing um and just like a normal apprenticeship straight after your GCSEs because if you get in you get in it's good for you and don't get it wrong okay you can still continue and do a degree if that's what you want to do if you start off as an apprentice after your GCSEs if anything is better for you you'll get paid much younger you'll have more work experience and they will let you continue and grow and go to university and pay for all of it so if you can get it amazing please do that for my babes and my I was gonna say baby boys <laughs> for, for, the, for the boys and girls that are in their A levels or doing a BTEC currently and they want to know how do I find an apprenticeship what apprenticeships do I apply for what ones are the best right you need to figure out what your subject is what you want to get into okay so speaking from engineering I can only speak from that but there are other ones obviously have a look okay so you're gonna go on google these times you got chat gpt as well when I was looking there was no chat gpt I would be using chat gpt you know like I'd have it in on a chokehold and be using it type in okay companies that specialize in field okay so if you're engineering you type in companies that specialize in companies that specify in engineering okay and then you're gonna get a list or you're gonna see the companies that come up then you're gonna click on that company's website and you're going to see if they offer a degree apprenticeship then you're going to see if they offer a degree apprenticeship in what you want then you're going to see the grades they are looking for and what subjects they are looking for now if you are just started out in your a levels and you do not need to complete you know maths further maths and physics and you can do engineering b-tech and maths and still get in make that decision you are hating a levels right now you are hating how it's going and you just want to i don't know if you can say that here maybe not and you just want to end it all <laughs> if you do stick with your a level subjects then there may be more doors open to you however if you want to specialize a bit more because you know what you're doing go ahead and do that now these grades are your baseline okay of course aim high my children okay fly to the skies get your a stars i want that for you however do not pressure yourself do not stab yourself do not cry and burn yourself over the fact you are not hitting these a stars because if you need a c get the c and move on with your life okay you need to have so many other hobbies you cannot just be applying to a degree apprenticeship in this day and age in this day and age especially you need to have so many hobbies girl now that you know how to find these degree apprenticeships by the way sometimes they are on tiktok ads as well like i'd be scrolling and i saw one for like spec savers which i didn't even know existed so you know keep an eye out but i'd say google is your best bet so you can find companies and do the research yourself you also want to try and land yourself a place in these big big companies okay girl come on aim high like just aim high if you come from the ghetto okay then you are not going to picture yourself in these environments and you're not going to think it's possible and you're not going to want to apply okay don't let that stop you apply the worst you can do is get a rejection okay but it's like just do it please okay you guys make me tear up i'm getting emotional <laughs> 
sorry i still have a cold sometimes some companies won't have all the courses they offer on show neither would you be able to apply to them right so during the apprenticeship season wait january february march april may june july august september october november november i think it was between like november to february or november to march because that's when i got the most amount of messages from you guys so i'm gonna go with that kind of season you need to have a look if the companies are starting to put them out because then you can actually pick which one you want so when it comes to the application process okay a lot of them will require you to answer some questions while applying some of them may require a cv some of them may not now if you are confused on how to build a cv then the best thing you can do is look at online examples that's what i did and honestly now with my cv i literally put it into chat gbt and i say hey can you amend it this is what i'm trying to do these are the experiences i have help me and it should help you when applying you realize as you go through the application they are looking for more out of you okay so like i touched on before it is not just that your education that matters so when i was applying i actually had um an engineering scholarship so i got this scholarship it was called the art Crack scholarship i had this when i was 16 um yeah i was 16 with this art Crack scholarship obviously you don't really do much um but they do send you on these really cool summer schools okay so this is when i first got introduced to summer schools and yes i thought it was a bit weird but honestly at that age i was weird and it turned out i had so much fun when i went okay it turned out to be amazing i 100 recommend them they are great i think i've done like five six i done loads okay um, this was also when i started mentoring and stuff it was it was a great great experience i tried out aerospace engineering i tried out mm, manufacturing engineering i tried out like the bomb one i forgot what it's called it's, it's left my mind i tried so many of them to find out what i actually liked you know what ones i felt resonated with me the most because at the end of the day you are going to pick this as your life plan obviously you can change it but at that time that's what it felt like i was doing and it's also good to know what you're getting yourself into so i'd 100 recommend them a great place to find some summer schools is sutton trust okay look on their websites they have some that come out it's the best best thing you can do for yourself what these summer schools are basically you will go to like a university for example we'll take liverpool you'll go to liverpool you'll stay in dorms you'll experience what like what it's like you'll experience what it's like to live in a uni dorm you'll experience what it's like to go to lectures see if that's your thing it definitely wasn't mine i literally fell asleep on everyone and they had to wake me up it was so embarrassing and it's when i realized oh my god what am i doing and it's also where i met amazing people that actually told me what a degree apprenticeship was and it like blew my mind and now i'm here okay so definitely do it you you don't know what doors are going to open on top of that i'm talking hobbies go to your sports learn a language you know show some interest in engineering if you actually care or not engineering but in what you're doing like if you're applying to this do you actually have passions for it what do you do in your spare time that shows that you actually like it also if you are in london a great thing that you can do is go to lectures now i know there's like lectures that take place in like queen's mary queen's queen 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 mary's yeah queen mary's and like um imperial and you can just apply to these lectures go sit there you can make a day out of it with your friends and it just shows that you're interested so just go just do it okay it's not hurting you i also did ncs <laughs> I don't know if that got me in because everyone does that um but you know just do something so you can broaden your mini mini cv that you have normally how it works and what i've heard from other people that i've applied to different things it's a very similar kind of process okay so you'll answer the questions hand in whatever documents they need then they'll say yes to the questions or no to the questions okay then you'll go through a aptitude exam so it's not like maths based um depends on what you're doing i guess i know that my friend done a banking one and it was quite maths heavy but mine was all aptitude exams I, there was there was it, it feels like a game honestly when you do them okay so i wouldn't stress about it too much normally they'll have like practice things that you can do beforehand so don't stress um definitely do the practice round so then you know what to expect and you know how to tackle the problem and then if you pass that which congratulations you will go to the interview stage now when it comes to the interviews everyone's like oh my god let's say interview what do i do Rid the relax relax honestly just slow your roll it's okay just please be yourself like damn like i know everyone's like oh but uh, i don't know what other information you're trying to get out of me like genuinely you've made it so far your interview is about your personality if your personality is dead i can't change that i can't help you do you know what i mean you need to be so confident in yourself and act like you are worth every single bit because you are worth every single bit and you deserve to be there so you need to prove that okay by being yourself everyone loves teamwork it's a big ass company that you're going to that you're working in show some teamwork guys also 
I didn't realize this because I'm like silly, okay? But the interview is probably going to be like a day long, okay? It's not just one little, um, you know, one little interview you do. I did two and it was like a whole day and in between you'd, you know, get to talk to people and there was like Lego. Show some interest. I actually genuinely love Lego, so I started playing with the Lego. And then when we got into the apprenticeship, we realised everyone who played with the Lego got in. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. It might just be like a brain thing, like we're wired differently or something. But everyone who played with the Lego got in, so just play with the Lego. I'm a very chatty person, you know. I'll strike up conversations and I like team working. I actually like people's, which I think did help. All I can give you is please be yourself. I know for my presentations, people had different things. Like I took in a poster. Some people had actual models that they were talking about. Some people had presentations. You know, you can do this interview what best suits you. I'm an artsy person. I like pictures and I like posters and it was the best way I could get my information across. So that's why I chose that. And now when you get in, okay, so I've had quite interesting questions on what to expect when you actually start your degree apprenticeship. Now, this is going to be a kind of why it's better than uni and why it's worse than uni kind of situation because some of the things you expect are pros and some of them, you know, I, I don't know if they're cons, but they make life a little bit harder, okay? So a lot of people are like, okay, will they pay for everything? Are they gonna pay for your accommodation? getting a salary pay for your own accommodation having said that companies that are a little bit smaller they actually do pay for people's accommodations as well that i know of um so i guess it just depends on the company you're picking but like you are getting paid you can afford to pay rent like it's okay um maybe not in first year but now they bumped it up i know in first year i was on like 13.5 i got 800 a month and 400 went to rent I had nothing. <laughs> it's changed now. It's a better life. Um, speaking on money, one major, major thing to expect is cash. Yeah, in your bank account, which you need. Now, I think a lot of people want to experience this uni life and they get very tied up in this uni life, which I think is really stupid like really really dumb why are you so fixated on partying relax you're gonna party when you're here it's fine you'll make friends you can go out as much as you want if you hang out with it's literally like school like if you find the group that really wants to party you're gonna be a party head and go out every single weekend if you find the group that doesn't want to party you're gonna not party do you know what i mean like it's literally like school you're not gonna miss out on anything and i also think it's wise to know that a lot of people that go to uni drop out if i went to uni trust me i would have dropped out because it is so boring university was the worst part of the whole apprenticeship like everything else is so good you get to meet people that are older than you now i don't think anyone understands because i never understood this but hanging out with older people is so much better for you because they've already lived their life they've lived their life they've made the mistakes and you can just listen all you have to do is just listen to them oh okay this is bad mm, maybe i should stay away from them do you know how many of them told me that they wish they traveled and you best believe that that is one of my plans okay because that is what i've learned they will also give you advice when you know you're struggling at work like you'll just meet some really nice people that will give you some really good advice and honestly you're hanging out with people that are like wise owls and you just learn everything and then you become wise <laughs> are there times where i feel you know really boring and i feel like maybe i've grown up a bit too quickly yes because i do think that the apprenticeship because you are forced into you know working and you're doing a nine to five on monday to friday which is quite intense actually um you might not have time to explore other things and other creative aspects however i do think it is just a short sacrifice like i know that sounds a bit like oh sacrifice but having seen people in university kind of getting trapped into this like lifestyle and losing themselves and you know also seeing them kind of really struggle to get out and continue on in their lives like loads of people do masters just to kind of satisfy their needs of not leaving and starting a nine-to-five i think it's better to just get thrown into the deep end figure it out and then decide what you want to do with the money that you get you can go on so many holidays you can you know explore different hobbies you can really better yourself at a younger age which i think is very 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 important and a big pro look i don't know if all of you that want to apply to a degree apprenticeship are very corporate if you want to stay corporate but one thing i will tell you is when you start okay please please do not at all change the way you are okay i've seen it i've seen it so many times where people mold into how people act at work and they're not themselves and they lose their personality because they're trying so hard to fit in you do not need to fit in it's just a place of work okay that's not your home okay you don't need to mold yourself to be around like those people you can still have your personality 
and go to work it's okay no one's going to kick you out because you know you have a different personality it's fine please be yourself that is one major major thing and that is because of the lack of time you find for self-expression sorry my legs are really hurting i'm sitting on my knees because this is like really low but i'm just a lot of people will also end up moving out and living by themselves right that in itself is a really good experience honestly even if you're doing it for one year i think everyone should live by themselves they're just really good for your development you need to live by yourself you need to learn independence and i also think it will set you a bit more freer in life and you won't be so boxed into just wanting to stay in the one place you're in because i can't think of anything worse but that's just my personal opinion so this is monday to friday basically you will be going to work right and on one of the days you are going to be going to uni now that university is very very long okay you're going to be there for hours and it's going to be painful and you're going to want to stab your brain because it's going to hurt that is normally how the apprenticeships get broken down obviously i literally only know like from my experience from what i know from my friends who are in different sectors and engineering of course it's actually quite easy to balance like the uni and the work life i think sometimes like some jobs have a bit of extra like i know rolls royce they had these like nvq questions or whatever which was just a bit extra that you had to do which took up loads of time um but i think the main issue is like the mental pressure if i actually look back on everything there wasn't that much of a lack of time exam season is a whole different topic which i will get on to but during like normal time um you did actually have time to explore and stuff i think it was just the mental pressure of everything you know when you have like so much going on in your mind and then you can't do anything because you're like er, lazy probably uh i think that's the correct word yeah but you do have time and honestly you know i've actually had so much fun these four years i've done so much i've gone so many places um and i think i had most of my fun in first year because that's when i was most free which is kind of similar to how uni would be anyway when it comes to exam season now be prepared to not have a life and it's only for a couple months probably but be prepared to not have a life like i'm not joking okay you can kiss people goodbye you can kiss your family but you can kiss your phone goodbye because you're not gonna have time for it at all and how it works for us is first year we were in training so no university that's why i had loads of spare time but you're in training it's just a bit of fun right then the next three years you go on placement so we did six months six months six months then one year placement what this means is whoever your manager is when you're in these placements if they are very kind your managers will give you that extra time okay if you're at work they'll let you do your uni work because they understand they know the struggles okay however sometimes the workplace is busy or your manager's just not nice <laughs> and then you know you just genuinely are going to have to go to work and then go home and do your work straight away there is no way around it okay like i'm sorry you're gonna probably find a little bit of time to go to the gym a little bit of time to eat that's about it like you actually just have no time but when it finishes everything is sunshine and rainbows again so don't worry it's a very 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 small portion of the whole apprenticeship i also think having done an apprenticeship has kept me so on track it is crazy okay one thing in university is no one's really holding you accountable now no one's got a leash on me over here but i do have to be at work at 8 a.m 7 a.m whenever i choose right because you know i have a job like i need to go in which i think is a little bit different um you are also kind of forced to go to your uni lectures here which i think is a good thing um i know i was hating on it during the whole time but if you don't go then you know it's not the best definitely a good thing if you really struggle with keeping things on track you probably have a lot more commitments than someone typically your age so it's a good thing the reason why um your final year is probably going to be a year-long placement is because you are going to do something called a dissertation now this is um like a piece of coursework that you have to do for university My my advice when you're doing this to make your life a little bit easier in final year which is the hardest by the way <laughs> you lose yourself <laughs> i'm not lying oh, it's good it's good to be done anyway final year where you want to you know i suggest making sure that your dissertation matches what you're doing at work because that is going to make your life so much easier okay if you start switching them up and they're different projects i think you're gonna combust and if you're wondering, Lexi, why have you suddenly decided to tell all of us all of this? Okay, one, I'm tired of you, okay, in my DMs. Get out. <laughs> I'm joking. Not really. I'm tired of responding. Genuinely, I'm saying the same thing again and again. Please listen to me, okay? Because uh, my fingers hurt and I hate typing. I've literally changed her voice notes and now I'm even getting tired of them. So I had to make this video too. This is actually the house shed that I was staying in um, during the four years I've been here. So, you know, 
I thought since I'm leaving tomorrow why not make this video and um three I actually think it is amazing that you guys are trying to better your lives and being academic weapons I love seeing academic weapons I love baddies with brains like it just mwah, it goes together so well and um I wish you guys like a lot of good luck with your futures and I think it's great that you know you watch this till the end if you did um and if you have questions I will answer I answer everything but please 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 comment here okay so everyone can see the damn answer but yeah take care of yourselves I hope you get all the apprenticeships and everything that you want in life bye